Whether it was the original Indigo League you watched or the Diamond and Pearl games you played on the DS, Pokemon was omnipresent during our childhood. But why was this the case? Back in the day, you didn't have easy access to much information, let alone entire databases and articles on anime like you have now. So you had an endless imagination and curiosity about the game. Pokemon released its incredibly popular game on the Game Boy, and it was an instant hit. Everyone loved capturing monsters and keeping them in their pocket. Thus, pocket monsters became Pokemon in America, and ever since then, we have seen countless iterations of this franchise. Pokemon the Movie, Pokemon Indigo League, Detective Pikachu, and so much more. Pokemon was popular for a few reasons, so let's talk about three of them today. Number one was the fact that the game had massive, thorough world building. I mean, 151 animals you could make your own? That, in combination with a mysterious roster of legendary Pokemon and other strange phenomena in the game, made it easy to obsess over this new creation. You were a self-insert into the story. You were probably just a kid like the main character was, and so it was like you were transported to a fantastical realm with beasts at your control, like Isekai. Plus, some of the characters were cute, and you built bonds with them as you played. Part of the fun was just exploring the world and trying to learn everything there was about it. And you could go to school the next day and talk to your friends about how to beat a certain gym leader or discover a new part of the Kanto region. It was such a vast land of peril that you never truly ran out of curiosity, especially when you literally tried to catch them all. Now, eventually did it turn into a cash grab? Sure, but the games still provide kids with amazement and wonder to this day. The second reason this franchise was so popular was due to the show's massive appeal and success. Everyone who loved the game loved seeing the world on the small screen and, at one point, even the big screen. We got to follow Ash Ketchum, a young Pokemon trainer from Pallet Town. And man, was that opening theme not just an absolute banger, by the way. The anime provided us with legends about the Pokemon universe, and it had solid storytelling actually. The values of hard work, friendship, and loyalty were all on full display, and so it provided kids with good moral lessons. The show was everywhere, and it was one of the first massively popular anime in America, excluding DBZ. This was a very kid-friendly show, but I'm sure the English dubbing for this anime was censored pretty heavily for us Americans as well. Pokemon was finally in every household in America, but what made it last so long? It had to be its endless possibilities. Every time that things got boring, they just added a new region full of undiscovered Pokemon. Sure, it got overwhelming at one point, and now it's too much. However, each new generation of kids got their own game and TV show, so it was definitely a profitable business. Kids love the next new thing, just as all humans kind of do. While we should be content with where we are at in life, we get distracted by anything shiny, and honestly, anything that isn't ours. That desire drives people to capture more and more Pokemon. And while I think that it can be a bad thing if someone obsesses over these games, the action in moderation is a fun way to experience imagination. Pokemon will always be many people's reason why they started gaming or watching anime. It was one of my first experiences watching a Japanese cartoon, and I'm glad that I have that deep nostalgic vibe whenever I see a clip from Pokemon. Pokemon is truly legendary.